Good morning. I think I'm here. How's everybody today? Happy Tuesday. I don't see it yet, but it's a delay anyway. I was checking to see if I was there. If you can hear me, um, if you're watching, go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know you're here. Uh, any questions, I'll try to get to you as I'm sharing. So this morning, I'm going to be showing you how to make a card base with your designer series paper. So you need um, two sides of a double-sided designer series paper like this one and um, a paper trimmer like this one. And this one has a scoring tool too. My score tool likes to fall off because it's worn. I've used it a lot. <laughs> and um, I'm going to share with you today's cards. I am making three cards and you can get them free with your purchase. So you can make six cards. So you'll get in your packet, you'll get two of each designs and I'll send you everything you need except for the stamps, the dies or the punches. Um, and I'll share, you know, supply list with you. And um, then you have this video. You can watch it and you can make them at home. And if you want to make them together, let me know. We can have a Zoom party. So give me a, give me a shout out. All right, so I'm going to go down to my desk. I will show you where I'm starting today is with the punch and the deer stamps. So this is called the Peaceful Deer. And I even forgot that I had this and I forgot that it was carried over. So I found this in my retired stash. And went, oh, that one's not retired so I can use it. Yay! Um, and with all the big bucks I saw running around yesterday in my travels, I thought I'm going to um, use this and I'm going to, I'm going to make a Rudolph. I really want to make a Rudolph. So I'm going to show you how I make the punch. Um, let's add me there. There we go. There's my face. And straighten me out a little bit. Okay. We're ready to go. I um, made two, three of these cards that I was going to show you and actually this card right here that I'm doing is on the fly because um, my face is off camera. There we go. Get rid of that. I don't need to look at that. There we go. Okay, so let's get started. So yeah, I'm on the fly. So I'm just going to make this card like, you know, Let's just play. Let's just have fun in the studio today. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is make a template with my punch. And the reason I want to make the template, because I want these little antlers, I'm going to stamp them. Actually, this is going to be Rudolph, so he's not going to get a full antler. I actually had to Google Rudolph, <laughs> see if he had antlers. I haven't seen it in a really long time, but Rudolph, he has two little nubs, doesn't he? <laughs> so I'm making a template. So what I'm going to do is punch this out of the white. And there is my template. So when I go ahead and look, there's a little, there's a little nose. Where'd it go? I don't see it. It went flying. There was a little um, piece that punches out his nose. How fun is that? You can do that in red. I'm probably going to use a little red gem for his nose. <laughs> so what I'm going to do now is use this for my template. And the stamp that fits it is this guy. This stamp, this guy fits it too, but I don't want the one that says... I don't know what happened. I got shut down for some reason. Okay, it looks like I'm live. Hopefully we don't have technical difficulties. If it happens again, I'll create a video and I'll share that somehow. I don't know. Weird. Okay, so I'm starting over. <laughs> so I'm making, I made a template with my punch and I'm going to stamp the deer. 
this is how it punches out and makes this this way. So I'm going to stamp my dear in sock suede. Um, today's cards were inspired by, well, the layout was inspired by, let's see if I can stamp that. I know my head's in the way probably. Can you see my head? Yep. <laughs> Perfect. Oh, look how fun that is. I did this over the summer with my boat stamp. We made a template. So I'm going to go like, I don't think that one gets in the way, but I think this one really, I don't want to stamp the deer with the antlers. So how you do this is... Yeah, see, it doesn't get on there. It goes right between. And if I can do this perfectly, like so. Nice. This guy, however, you got to cover all that up because it's going to stamp the other side on there. And that's how you stamp it before you punch it. Because it would be really hard to stamp on these little guys. <laughs> So then you take your template off and you have your deer. You're cute. So I'm going to go like that, line him up and cut him out. So what, I, what was I saying? I was saying that this card was inspired by Susan Campfield. I saw this layout of this card and I thought, oh, I can really have some fun with my designer series paper with that. And so... There you go. Well, I think, I wonder if the noses are all getting stuck in there somewhere. There's a little dot there. I think it's his nose. Oh, here's the white one. Found the white one. I don't know where the uh, brown one went. That's okay. I don't know that I'm using it because I like to use gems for his nose. So anyway, if you place an order today, if you place an order, this next coming week, I didn't write down the dates, but if you place, place an order, $35 or more, anything you want, you can get these card kits for free. So you'll get six card kits for free in your order. And um, if you want to use the deer punch or the deer stamp, then I would suggest grabbing those. And I would suggest Grabbing the paper I used. Oh no, you don't have to grab the paper I used because I'm sending you the kits, so you'll have the paper. <laughs> These are not sticky anymore. I'm sure there's a tip for that. Someone's out there, they might be able to leave me a tip for that. Okay. All right, so there's the brown nose, I see it. Oh, it's lying. Found you. Okay, I'm gonna put those aside. However, Rudolph has nubs. So Rudolph is going to get... I think what I want to do is I want them to be like the end of this. Upside down, that's perfect. And I want it to be darker. You know what I could do? I could have just punched out early espresso and I would have had the nubs. What's I'm going to do? Well, I'm just... Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to get my nubs from the little scrap of early espresso. What I like to do... Put my scraps in with my paper. That way I'll use them up. I like to keep organized that way. Okay. So. We just need the little ends of the antlers, so I just need to punch right there. And there you go. Great for scraps for that. Okay, so now we've got our Rudolph. Moving all these things out of my way. Um, I think what I'm going to do Go ahead and cut 
this. Cut this. I think they're smaller than that. <laughs> they're so cute. My little Rudolph nubs. Okay. Where are you? you? I'm going to put a little dab of my glue in there. Actually, out of my Tombow glue. Can you believe it? Uh, I'll let that happen again. That's for sure. Okay. Get on there. Take it a little bit. They're a little thick for this little head. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Rudolph. <laughs> it makes me happy. <laughs> ah, okay. Hopefully, I'm still here. And we're not having any more internet glitches. Looks good. Sounds I, good? I don't think that one gets in the way. Yeah, I can hear myself. Okay. Now. Now. Um, nobody's watching yet, but hey. Hope you watch the replay. Hope you get something out of this. Hope I inspire you. And... Um, we'll see what happens. Okay, so now I am going to share. Let's see. I moved everything around in my craft room, so I'm very discombobulated. <laughs> I'm always moving things around because I'm like to be organized. And um, I'm going to take a sip of coffee. Okay. All right, so how we do this, um, we need a 12 by 12 piece. I'm gonna set aside my Rudolph so I don't lose him. We need a 12 by 12 piece of designer series paper. And I just happen to have this one that I've already trimmed off a little. And we're gonna cut it at four inches. Now, if you have directional paper, you're gonna make sure that it's going to work out for you. So every other piece of paper in this known paper did not work out for me. And I'll show you why. Um, I already cut some out of this, but if you look at this card, this end is going to get folded over. Well, that one looks all right. I actually could use that. <laughs> Let me show you a different one. I didn't think it would work. And I wanted to use it, but I didn't think it would work. Let me see. Let me see if I can find it. No, I didn't like that one because the back didn't really go with the front. It wasn't a directional thing, though. This one would be fine. There's more than I thought that would work. Maybe it was this piece. How funny. I think they would, they, they would all work, actually. Why didn't I like them? I don't know, but anyway. Make sure that you like the back of the paper with the front because the end of it's going to be folded over. See, I don't even really love this color with that because I'm anal you know, like that. But we're going to do this one anyway. So we're not going to cut it this way. We're going to cut it this way because the card is going to be that way. So we're going to go over four inches. It's four by 12. And then we're going to score this piece. Make sure you put your cutting blade in the ditch. Um, we're going to score this at five and a half from the left side and then from the right side at one inch. We could pull this out and go over 11 inches, but I'm just going to go this way and go one inch. And there you have that. Okay, and then we're going to fold in the 
five and a half inch part. And give it a good crease, with your bone tool. And then we're gonna fold it in this way. Okay, and that's gonna be the top of your card. And that's gonna be the inside of your card. Now, designer series paper, not the strongest. So um, we are going to, I'm just gonna get rid of this cause it, it's bugging me. I think it's, I don't know, it's bugging me. I'm getting rid of that. Okay. We are going to, if you're here, I can't see anything right now. Um, and if you don't comment, I won't know you're here. So let me know you're here. <laughs> so I can shit talk with you. So the inside pieces, ah, I didn't cut them, did I? No, I'll cut them right now. Get a piece of white cardstock. And yes, I am discombobulated a lot of the times. I changed my mind. I, I wanted to do, I did three cards and then I took one out and wanted to do this one because I really wanted to show Rudolph and some of the Nomi paper. Um, I'm pulling out scraps here. Okay, so we need another, here's my, my measurements. I don't know if you can even read this. My chicken scratch. There's my measurements. So your designer series paper is four inches by 12 inches. We scored it at five and a half inches from the left and one inch from the right. We're gonna cut our inside piece. That's gonna go on the inside and that's our sentiment for the inside. It's gonna stamp on there at four and a half inches by three and a quarter inches. And then we need a piece for stability to make this a little stronger. It's one and a quarter inches by four inches. So I'll cut that right now. The two, the inside piece and the stability piece. We're gonna do um get these out of my way. Actually, let's do this one. This is gonna be three and a quarters by four and a half. So I might be able to use that piece for my stability piece. Three and a quarter. can't see that because I'm off camera. Okay, this stability piece is one and a quarter by four inches. So we need to go four inches. That's one and a quarter, is it big enough? Do one and a quarter, or is that only one inch? It's less than one and a quarter. Let me see. I'm gonna use it because I can not put it in all the way. So that's that works. It doesn't have to be exactly one and a quarter. Get a little smaller because you're gonna it's gonna stick out a little bit. Not a big deal. That will work. Okay. Now that we have these cut, I'm going to um I like to stamp my sentiment on there before I adhere that. Good. Oh this is sticking out a little bit so it's not quite straight fix that. Still not. I like my seams to be perfect. There we go. Okay. Um, and my deer is going to go on here. He needs something behind him. How about a snowflake? We have these iridescent, lovely little iridescent. They're not little, they're big snowflakes. I have snowflakes from all over the place, just piling them. I want to use what you can get. So add that to your order and we'll pop that up and we'll put him right on the snowflake. Okay, hey, he's so cute. He's going to get a red nose. I know red. There's no red on this card. That's okay. All right, I'm going to go ahead and, um, so I don't have Tombow glue, I'm using my stamp and seal. And here's a trick. I, I figured it out. This would bug me because it gets hung up. It's so sticky. It gets hung up on the this part. But if you just 
go like that on your silicone mat, it starts it and you can go whoop. And it's easy. <laughs> this used to drive me buggy, but I want to put this sticking out a little bit right about there. Make sure it's straight. I like the glue because you have some, um, you have some ability to adjust it to make it straight. With this stuff, forget it. This is not straight. You're not moving it. Okay. Look how cute that is. All right. So I'm going to need a sentiment for the outside. And, um, sentiment for the inside and I think I'm going to use what did I like in here it's the best time of the year I'm going to do that <clears throat> and then on the inside I'm going to put sending love and peace this season yeah I like these two it's the best time of the year okie doke All right, all right, all right, all right. Mm -hmm. I think there's still red ink on this. Got red on here. <laughs> so, what color ink should I use for my sentiments? I think I could use red. I don't, I like matchy matchy. I don't know if I could use red for the sentiment. I'm using red on his nose, so I thought maybe I use red, but I think I like, I like pool party for this. Wait, no, I'm sorry. Pacific Point, that's what that is. Pool party. Use pool party on my card yesterday. Okay, Pacific Point. We are going to get our mats. So, photopolymer stamps versus rubber stamps. They don't have the rubbery cushion. So you're going to want to use a pad. This is my Pierce Stampin' Pad thing. Stampin' Up's pad. And then I just, I get a piece of um, scrap grid paper and I'm going to go like that see that's such a pretty color this is one of my favorite colors and then on the inside ooh, I want to do some snowflakes on the inside ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> having fun today oh so pretty my scrub mat Clean off my stamps here. I need some more spray for my scrubby mat. My spray is almost empty. I went from scrubby mat to using baby wipes to um, the chamois, and I just like my scrubby mat. I'm back to my scrubby mat again. Is that what you call it? I don't know. That's what I use. He's back. And I know there's snowflakes in here. There's a little bunny. Oh my gosh. Don't you just want to put the little bunny in there? Yeah. He's so cute. Um, yes, here are the snowflakes. I'm like, where are these snowflakes? The bunny's got to be gray. Snowflakes are going to be blue. I go like that. And then like that. Um, yeah. And then I need gray and my bunnies. I'm all here by myself. No one knows I'm here. It's okay. As long as I'm here. As long as I'm showing up. You guys can show up later. Smokey's late. Or... Gray granite. 
I'm going with this monkey flip. Let's see how this looks. Yep. I'll put the little bunny in the corner. <laughs> I just think he's cute. Don't you want to color him in too? I'm going to give him a little gray. A little grayness. A little gray. Where's my... Smoky Slate Light. Let's see. Yeah, I'm going to color him in. He's just so cute. I'm using the weird side. That's like not the right side to use. I like this side. That's better. <laughs> I never usually color on camera. I'm going to color more. Shading here. Back in with this to blend it. Nice. And leave his tail white. Just the way it should be, right? Okay. There you have that. All right. I got the inside. I got the sentiment piece. I'm just going to cut this. Go. Mm, maybe not. Put this on the trimmer. Kind of not straight there. And then that's buggy, so fix that. I kind of want to go at an angle. Follow that same there. Okay, so this card is almost done. Just gotta glue this on the inside. And easy peasy. And then I'm gonna I think I'm gonna put dimensionals on both of these because I can. That's fun. <sighs> Yay! All right, so when I'm done here, I'm going over to Link by Ink. I'm going to be showing this card as well. Where am I putting this, though? Oh, I like this guy going this way. Yep. And two more dimensionals. Basically. All right. There's a little paw under there. Cute, right? There you go. It's crooked. There. Okay, there's that one. Card number one. Da, 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 da. Put me there. 
and I had all these ideas to do the so the, it's more the gnome paper on there but I ended up oh Rudolph's nose Rudolph with his nose so bright I think I have some red gems in here somewhere they may not be um, holiday gems I have this guy Okay, those are smaller. They don't look very red red to me. That's nice I want the perfect red nose, don't you? I just want the perfect red nose. You could take a matte white one and color it red. Ooh, I could do that. Color it with the red I want. <laughs> um, I just saw something I needed. Looking. There they are. Yeah, these are old, retired gems. Yep. But hey, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do. I'm sure there's red gems in their catalog that you can get. This is what I have. Well, this is from last year's swap cards. <laughs> Okay, take my pick tool. This is right here. Take this guy. Give him a little Rudolph nose. Look how cute Rudolph is. <laughs> we made him cute. Okay. Let's get him together. All right. Oh, stiff neck. Stretch. Oh, hey. Hi, Bonnie. <sighs> Hi there. Isn't it fun when you jump on and see your friend live? <laughs> What's she doing? All right. I am sharing three cards. And we're going to go ahead and put this one together. I pre-cut it all. I love the idea of using vellum. As your base card. Did you know you could do that? Our trainer, fearless leader, um, Rhonda Wade, shared this card, not this card layout, but shared a vellum card um, card base. And I thought, ooh. And then Su Susan Campfield showed this layout, this card and um, to use designer series paper. And I thought, oh, I have that fun vellum snowflake, snowflake paper that I could use. So I'm going to use this. And then I cut out the little Santas from the designer series paper from this guy. I'll just show you, show you it. This is the paper. And I'll cut out the little Mrs. or Mrs. Claus. And I'm putting them on there with the snowflake behind there. And I had, I had, maybe I have it for the other card. Okay, yeah, I'm going to show you that. All right, and, and then we'll, I'll show you what I do with the sentiments on here. So the first thing I'm going to do, I cut this out for stability. This is going to go underneath there. This is actually one inch by four inch. It's not the one and a quarter by four because I don't want it sticking out like my other card. I wanted that sticking out. This gives it a little bit of separation between the two papers. So. <laughs> yes, Bonnie, I'm out of my Tombow glue. It's on its way. Can you believe it? <laughs> and I thought I was out of my seal. And I thought I was going to have to go to my, um, those paper pumpkin dots because I have so many of those little glue dots. But luckily I found a brand new seal sitting on my shelf. Thank God. Can't be out of our supplies. And I actually like using the seal when you want to be quick. Give this a good press. This is hard. hard. It's hard to get that good semen on there. Um, I think I'm just gonna, I have, mm, 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 I need my Tombow glue. I really do. 
Well, I have this this fine tip glue. I'm going to use that. I'm just going to glue this snowflake down. Where do I want it? Mr. and Mrs. Claus fit right there. And the snowflake's going to go right here. So it's not hanging off, but right there. And these guys are going to get dimensionals. I had to listen to it. Oh, it takes a little while. I moved it for that to dry. Oh, I don't want to be freezing. Could be because this um, internet is being used as a satellite office. There, they're so cute. Oh my gosh. Okay. And the sentiment will come with. All right. I'm going to use that. I need an inside sentiment. I think I'm going to use the peaceful beer again. Wishing you wonderful year and friendships, dear. Is that the one I use on this one? No. Sending love and peace. I like this. Wishing you. And what color should I use for the sentiment? Red or black? I think I should use red. Ooh, how about evergreen? Evening evergreen. I think I like that one. Mm. Goes with their goes with their shirts, doesn't it? I like it. Okay. All right, I have until, oh, it's already 1130. Oops, I got to do it. Okay, never, never schedule a back-to-back -back live. Because I didn't think this was going to take that long. So I might have to jump off and just show you the finished cards. Because I got to go live in our group. As I have a crafter math, you can't even, don't even time to pick up. That's okay. It's all good. We can do this. And then I have to go to work. To go into work at two. Seems to get in my way, going to work. <laughs> Gotta do it. I'm thinking one day I'll be retired and I can do this. Stampin' up full time. Stop freezing, computer. Sorry, Bonnie. It's out of my control. It's out of my hands. All right, so I just need the top piece. And look, I have a scrap right here I can do this with. All right, I'm going to show you really quick before I jump off. I'm not going to do the third card because I don't have time. But I'm going to show you the Alphabest stamp set. Along with this cute little punch. Because it's not the cutest little thing. I kept seeing it. And I had to have it. Um, so. How fun is it? If you want some things. You can get them. And then get a free card kit with it. Isn't that great? I'm going to do this one. No. I think I'm going to do this one. Yes. And I'm going to do Joy. Is that a zero? That's a zero. I want the O. And I want the Y. So what I'm going to do first is stamp the square outer frame lip guy. Maybe LinkedIn with ink, our group linked with ink will be okay if I'm a little late. No, don't rush, because when you rush, you just make mistakes. Let me put these back in there. Take a sip of coffee. <laughs> oh, I know. I had to label my paper trimmer, Bonnie, because um, Susan Campfield, I think, has hers labeled. And I saw that and went. I need to put my number on that and label it. Because then, look, you can see, you can see what to order when you need this 
paper trimmer um, scoring guy. And I figure out why these fall off all the time because it's worn on one side because I use it so much. They ought to really just give us new ones. Okay, here we go. Um, what color? Evening Evergreen. Yep, that's what I said. I'm using it. Same color I used on the inside of the card. And I'm going to stamp this three times. Getting very inky. It don't matter. That way. Okay, now I need the J. I like to clean as I go. I learned that my first job. My first job was at McDonald's. <laughs> and it's clean as you go is the rule in this house. But it's kind of hard when you're doing crafting, right? Because you have that crafter math mess. Crafter math. I, my table's already full of stuff. That's okay. So far, I can find everything. Now we get the fun part. Punch these out. Put them on the card. And voila. Card number two. And line those up. that on there somehow probably on the snowflake turn it around do this one I love these because you can actually make um, personal personalized card with names so like for my grandkids <laughs> I want to make them personalized cards because they're fun you can even do projects yeah, I'm ripping this because it's in the way. <laughs> Don't mind me, it's just paper. There. And I'm going to pop these up with dimensionals. And where'd they go? They're under something. They're right in front of my nose, under my paper. There we go. Found you. Okay. All right. How do I want to place these? Just like that. Kind of like that. I kind of like it. Like a little bit of... <laughs> I love that they're like on skates and it looks like they're dancing together. So cute. All right, there you go. There we are. There's two of the three cards. You can go to my website and place your order. If you need help, let me know. If you've never placed an order online and uh, don't know what to get, let me know. All right. So there it is. Have a good day, everybody. I'll see you later. I'll see you next Tuesday. <laughs>